You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Um, we all know why we are gathered here. Ezemo has lifted the ban on the Igwe contest for our community. That is why I summoned this meeting so that uh, we can collectively nominate, adopt, and confirm a candidate to be the Igwe of Umudim community. Okay, for them. They won. The floor is open. We to make a name The floor is open for contributions. Um, oh no, you have spoken well. Do you make a name or no? Um, there is no point in looking for a candidate because we already have one. We have a candidate standing by. A candidate that has given so much. A candidate that has done so much for this community. Hmm? We are talking about Chief Akokalia. Akokalia Nemelora. Hmm? As a matter of fact, it will be an abomination to even consider comparing Akokalia with someone else. What we should be talking about is to fix a new date. So that Akokalia will print fresh invitation cards and give to his friends. Uh, he has already wasted money on the other invitation cards and beer boards and all the things he has done. But it is so nothing. Oh, believe it, Kabo. Let us fix a date. If a baby. Izuago, one name, my good brother. You have spoken well. Uh, let for me. Let us set a new date for the coronation of Akokalia as the Igwe of Umudim. Not so fast, though. Akukalia is not the only one qualified to be Igwe. Uh -huh. And who else, if not Akukalia? Anytime, any day. Look at you. Look at what you're talking about. That boy in America. What does he know? We are talking about the culture and tradition of our people. Yes. We are talking about Igwe, the custodian of our people. In Ekuoku, in America, Ibi Igwe Abohe Igwe Club and Eba Krikata. Eh? Talk some sense. That boy in America has done more for our community. Then your so-called candidate Akukalia, who came back from the city to exploit us. Taking over people's land, using police and army to intimidate our people. Mm -hmm. Nameka has revived our community hospital, our community school, and he is presently building a modern town hall and community center for us. Mm -hmm. Nameka has placed 50 of our brightest children on scholarship. And he has taken additional 10 to Lagos to train them in a business. Mm -hmm. What exactly has Akalia done for us? Apart from bribing some of our gullible minded elders to cause confusion mm -hmm. and to what our collective will. Yes. We are talking about we are talking about tradition, not philanthropy. Oh, 
This is not a shouting uh, match. We are here for serious business. Um, it will be a matter of choice. It's about decision. It is not about um, fight or shouting. Please, let this not repeat. Is there anybody else who has an opinion on this matter? My fellow elders, we should all know that this is not a market women meeting, but meeting of honored people, honorable people. Let us compose and be what we are. Uh, yes, tradition and uh, uh, custom, eh? they're all good. We have been in it. I lived and I grew up still it, but with nothing to show. But I want to let you know that this world is moving faster than we expected. Of which, if you don't meet up with it, you will be dropped out. <laughs> Yesterday, it was analog. And today, what is it? Digital. If I may suggest, we need a very vibrant young man that can stand. If you call him in the night, he will come out. If it has to do with going to overseas, he will go for us. If he needs to see the president, he will go there to bring what belongs to us. Mm -hmm. And there is only one person I see that quality. In. And that is a Nemeka. Stop campaigning! Stop campaigning! Stop campaigning! Stop campaigning! Stop campaigning! Stop well, in the absence of um, any other contribution or opinion on this matter, I want to make my position known. For so long, we have been trying to make Akukalia the Igwe of Omudim. Uh, but it did not work. It did not work, and it still has not worked. Within the period of suspension of this process, another candidate emerged in the person of Nemeka. It appears the gods have a hand in this matter, if you ask me. So, what it means is that, uh, as it stands, we have two candidates contesting for this position. On one hand, Chief Gabriel Akukalia. On the other hand, Nemeka Madoka. I do not want to be partial. Neither do I want to be partisan by virtue of my position. We are in a democracy now, are we not? Yes. Majority carries the vote. On the strength of that, I want to put this matter to vote. Are we agreed on it? Uh, let us vote. If you know that you want Chief Akokalia to become the next Igwe of Omudim, Obododike, indicate by raising up your hand. I don't know what I got go. Um, as we can see, it is um, only two of us, Ichie Izo and Ichie Zerowa, who have voted for Akokalea. It is noted. Now, those of us who want Nemeka Madoka to become the next Igwe of our land, Umudim Obododike, please indicate by raising up your hand. The movie train! Sit down. Um, and I want to join my votes. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't be named. Oh, 
That means seven of us. Who's against two of us? If you don't know, <laughs> by this vote, by this vote, it means that the chair, the kingmakers of Omodim, have unanimously voted and decided that Nemeka Madoka shall be the next Igwe of Omodim. And so shall it be. Isse. Isse. So this is what this is all about. All the schemings and machinations was geared towards depriving me of my God-given position. Now, never Onyebo Tigana, a charlatan, a Yahoo boy, a ritualist, to become my own Igwe. Nebe Ademi Eme. No. All you Ichies are nothing but a bunch of hungry dogs scavenging for food. A bubble no get alone I will fight this battle all by myself and stay become the Igwe. Um, <clears throat> Ako, it is not our fault. Mm. Yeah? That's that boy. He bribed them. He, he gave them big money. Also, ego. He used money to confuse them. Mm. Yeah? That's the problem. Uh, um, but if you can uh, bring some money, even if it is half of half of what you he gave them, uh, we will try to con convince them to change their mind. It's wrong. You put that in again. I can't give it. Get out of my house. All of you are the same. It's wrong. It's our helium. We are going to And as for you, Tigana, whatever they call you, I will deal with you. You will not know what hit you. By the time I'm through with you, you'll be better dead. Zogi Liam. Zogi Liam. Well, Nay, you're okay, Bemuni. Chief Wanya, take it easy. To be a king is not a door. I really need to talk to a maker on my behalf. You know you're the only one that can talk to him. I know I messed up, yes. But I love him so much and I can't lose him. I've realized my mistakes. Please just, just tell him to just talk to me, please. Well, there's no need for that now, all right? He has moved on, so I advise you move on too. Move on? I can't move on without him. He is the love of my life. I love him so much. Please just help me talk to him. 
I see. The very one you love is married now. Married? Mm -hmm. She has even paid um, the bride price. So what we are waiting for is his um, coronation that is coming soon as the Igwe of his community. Igwe? Uh -huh. Emeka? Uh -huh. Igwe? I should have been the Lolo. I thought you said you don't like uh, local things. I didn't used to, but I do now. Uh, I see. So you're trying to tell me that there's nothing that you can do about it? There is nothing I will do about it. It's always good for you to know what you want. No. And go for it. There's something that can be done. I'm sure. I'm sure when the maker sees me, when, when he sees me, he will fall in love with me again, right? I'm sure. Just, just help me, please. Okay. Wait for him then. Good. Don't can. You're really enjoying me. Mm. Look at your house. Mm. Your gown is nice. Mm. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> well, we are rooting for you now very soon. We'll join you. <laughs> of course, I wish you luck. <laughs> I've been meaning to discuss something with you. What is it? Is there a problem? No, not at all. Do you know that Cynthia is not your friend? Ever since you got married to Emeka Tigana, she has been saying a whole lot of rubbish about you. In fact, she's just taking things out of proportion. Just like the other day that uh, police people came to your house to arrest you. Do you know this girl went about telling people in the village that you were caught with your armed robbery gang? And that was why they arrested you. I mean, she's just acting like your enemy. I really don't understand that girl. Then after when the uh, Yameka finally engaged you, she then came with another story you, that she used Juju to pin him down. Can you imagine that nonsense? Oh, God. Yeah, I decided not to talk oh, because I, I wouldn't want to, you know, spoil your relationship with her because I don't know when you started. But I, I just said I should at least try and let you know because that kind of energy is not needed. To understand. Kelechi, I believe you 100%. You do? Yes. I know Cynthia better than you do. She even called me to report you to me. But I did what? <laughs> she said, um, actually, she turned everything that she said around, that you said you go about telling people that I'm a froster. Ah, yeah. Cynthia. <laughs> but I know better, my friend. I know better. <laughs> you know, Cynthia has never been a good friend. Yeah. Honestly. She sees me as a rival. Honestly, I didn't want to disclose all that to you because I wanted you to sit and know the right thing and tackle yourself and know the opinions to take and all that. You're really a nice person, Nifi. I know. <laughs> I don't understand. Please leave Cynthia alone. She doesn't look up. I enjoy myself, darling. What is it? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, how are you? All right, I'll be back shortly. I want to go see the local government chairman. So we can discuss fixing the major road that leads to our village. Okay. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. Don't miss me too much. I won't. <laughs> Kelechi. Yes, sir. This is for you. All this for me? Yes. My wife told me uh, a lot of good things about you. Thank you deserve it. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yes. Thank you. Thank and you're a nice man, too. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Thank you. Take care of yourself. You too. <laughs> if you thank you so much, what would I have done without you? Nothing. Imagine what you okay. <laughs> all for me. You hmm? deserve more, girl. Thank you. And thank you for being a good friend. Always. Always. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate But you're looking good, eh? See you. <laughs> me. You. That is eating money now. Me that just take his. Hey, Kelechi. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. 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 
money. You will not forget your money. <laughs> forget what? 100k. <laughs> At least you just can spare me on my day. <laughs> then, nah. Not two of us. I will spare you. That's not thing. My husband said our wedding will be the wedding of the millennium. Yes, yeah, so, and the title will be Igwe Wets Ife. Oh! And even the vice president will be in attendance. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Girl. Oh. My girl is taking. Oh, I'm my happy for you. Taking. I know, right? I know. See, every disappointment is a blessing. I keep telling you this, my dear. You know, I didn't know that God was actually preparing a better place for me. I swear. And I'm so happy. <laughs> Do you remember when I was telling you about Odinaka? You were crying over him. I told you that God was preparing something very special for you. And now it has come to reality. I know, right? <laughs> Israel. But you know what? My problem is that people come in tens and twenties just to ask for assistance. And you know I have to attend to them and all. I know. <laughs> and I know you're equal to the task. Of course. Um, God really prepared you for this. I and I know you can handle it. Of course. So I just can. take your time and it's not really a big deal. Let me see. Thank you. I really am. You are really adding. Hey, Don't tell me that for my which adding. Hey, my dear. You get my boy double. Oh, yeah, my dog, man. Oh, she's in the line. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, um, no, thank you. I haven't got time for such uh, frivolities now. I came to give uh, a very important message to you. First, I want you to consider it a great privilege that Akokalia Rapu Bia Webia Bege. And um, having said that, I. You see, these useless elders who are pushing you to be the Igwe, they don't mean well for you. They want to destroy you. I will advise you to step down for me. Support me with your contacts, your wealth, to become the Igwe instead of challenging me. Mm. Mm. <coughs> um, Chief, I'm not challenging you. I'm only obeying a divine mandate to serve our people. So you want to go ahead? Yes, I will go ahead. Not because I want to hurt you. Far from it. The people want me. The elders want me. So I'll serve them. <laughs> Let me make it clear to you. It's only the living that can become the Igwe. Hmm. <coughs> Chief. Are you threatening me, Chief? I'm not a gentleman. I don't play fair. I have made many people disappear. Don't be counted in that number. All right. I see. Now I understand why even the gods have rejected you as well. Same way the people rejected you. Nobody wants you. You don't have leadership qualities. You have no business being king. What you're doing now is obsolete. Old tactics. Nobody does this anymore. Can get you into trouble. Look around you. I have gadgets here that just recorded everything you said. If I send it to the police, Chief, you'll go to jail. Believe me, if you doubt it, I can play it back for you right now. I'll advise you, Chief, don't do this again. Do not try it. I'm not a child. I did not get to this level by being stupid. I'm a very smart young man and I'm very rich. Very, very rich. I'm equal to the task. Ejime is wego, chief. Is wego. Do not try this again. Akwado Mofuma. Don't.
small boy like the gun outsmart you. How could I have fallen into such a trap? Now, I can't do anything indirectly. Otherwise, that devilish gadget will be used against me. Hello, son. Listen, Nambe. I don't have money. Look, this Igwe thing is costing me a lot of money. I mean, are you not ashamed? People send money from abroad to their parents. Here we are sending you money. If you follow them, A young man like you, 28 years? And you, you just ask for money as we will pluck it from one tree. I am here working for this Igwe thing because when I get in, I'm going to make it hereditary. So that you can become the next Igwe. So I'm in, indirectly working for you. And here you are. Join other boys. Take a part-time job. Pay your school fees. Do things. Don't, I wasn't up for this kind of nonsense again. Give me a good Believe me, I do not like the way you just spoke to our son now. Like I don't how? like it. Like how? You should be encouraging this boy instead of making him feel hopeless, worthless, and useless. Ugo Madi, the worthless, hopeless, and useless. I should be speaking to a 28 year old boy like a motivational speaker. After spending millions of naira, spending for his first degree, he studied a four year course in six years. I should be talking to him nicely, eh? And so. And so, all fingers are not equal. That is your old dictionary. You cost all this. I wanted my son to study here so that he can also understand my business so that I can take over. You wanted him abroad because your friend's children are abroad. Unnecessary, unhealthy, unrivaled competition. Look at what it has cost us. Honey, please. Honey, I don't know what you're talking about. All I'm trying to tell you is please look for money and give to this boy for his master's program. That's all. Ugo, ma. Send him your own money. Eat your ego. Which money? Which money, I ask? When was the last time you gave me money in this house? Dick head in Banaga. But say now. Say, the only thing that matters to you right now is just your contest about this Igwe. That's all. I don't have time for your petty statements. You are just like your son. Hmm? Look at it. I'm trying to get money. I've placed that my land at Amateur. Ten plus of it for sale. So I can be able to undo this boy and here you are talking not, not nonsense just hear yourself negodu ochiara hear yourself just imagine what you said you want to sell land to match a little boy Odaba. i lent your father two million naira he's not been able to take my call so i made my call avoid you should see me every day and start clapping i built a house for your family if not, oh no, I can't I hear you are talking nonsense. When I talk, you talk. You feel like they make No problem. No problem. Why don't you go to CNN and announce it? What you have been doing for me, your wife, and my family. Go and announce it. That's it. Oh. What have you ever done for anybody without using it against that person? I've gone to BBC already if you don't know. Mm, yes. Get what? You should. Look, let me tell you. Mm. You should be happy I pulled your family out of poverty. You should see me and start saying Jehovah bless this man for me. Here you are talking about money. Give me some accolades, woman, I'll be oh, humble. Ma. I don't blame you. Look at a boy who is now a full-grown man who should take responsibility 
can't even pass one exam. like three and push Volkswagen. First degree. Now on a man, my size degree. I can't put it like that. What is it? Take it easy. Do you believe I did it? Do you believe I'm a ritualist? That I'm a kidnapper? Do you? No. Never. If I did, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. So who do you think is behind this? Who is? If not Akokalia, or maybe some other criminals. But Akokalia and his acolytes want to pin it on you. The witness said she saw one of my boys there. How do we explain that? That is where I am confused. I tried to talk to that girl since yesterday. But she's always in Akokalia's house. Or with Izogo and Zeroa. Hmm. Something is going on. Something fishy is going on. Definitely. Those vultures are up to something. I will get to the root of it. I will get to the root of it. <sighs> I'll be traveling tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning. 